Hey, it's Connor K, and welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is my second video for my top five summer of 2014, and I will be going over my top five favorite movies to watch during the summer. I have pretty much all of my movies are older movies that either came out uh, two years ago, three years ago, or actually I think I have one from back before the 2000s. I want to say it's like 1970 something or 80 something. I'm not really sure. It's like my mom's era of movies. But I will be going over my top five that I am loving to watch every summer. There's no one year I actually, I'll actually talk about that later. But yeah, I am going to share with you guys my top five movies and let's just jump into number five. My number five video uh, or movie of summer is Beach Blanket Bingo. If you guys have not heard about this movie, I will probably link it below or anything I can find about it, maybe a short little summary of it, I'll link below so you guys can check it out if you guys would like to in the description. It is an older movie. This is the one from way back when that I was just talking about. That is my niece snoring, if you heard that, by the way. It's an older movie, one of my very favorite. I don't know why I put it as number five, but kind of should have put it up probably like two or three, maybe. But it is my favorite movie. It's all about the, it's a musical. It's about, it has Frankie something or Frankie Avalon or someone, whoever was bigger in that area, era. Um, he's in it. Very good movie, I love it. You got the theme song, Beach Blanket. Bingo. Beach Blanket. Yeah, I don't need to sing, but yeah, you get the point. One of my very favorite movies. And my number four video or movie of summer is Teen Beach Movie. If you have not heard about this movie, it is a Disney Channel movie, actually one of their better movies that they've come out with recently. It came out last summer on uh, Disney Channel, of course, and it has Ross Lynch from Austin Alley, and it has um, Maya Mitchell from The Fosters, which I'm pretty sure some of you guys know that's actually, I've heard it's a good show. I'm really not into it at the moment, but I might end up, after a couple seasons it's out, I might try on. I know my sister and my mom are favorite, but that's a whole different subject. But it's a very good movie. It's yet another musical. It is actually very catchy. It's my niece's favorite movie pretty much of all time. It is a very good movie. It, I think I, there's like two or three songs that I really love and I actually had one of, I was actually going to put one of the songs in my last video for my top five summer songs, but I actually found some better songs for that video. If you have not checked it out already, I will have it at the end of this video. And my number three movie of summer is actually my sister's favorite movie pretty much of all time, I would assume so, besides 101 Dalmatians or whatever, is Because I Said So. If you have not seen it, it has a Diane Keaton, Mandy Moore, uh, not Heather Graham. Is it Heather Graham? I think it's Heather Graham, and, or someone from Gilmore Girls in it, and uh, Piper Bravo from Covert Affairs or Coyote Ugly. Very good movie. It's very catchy. We've watched it probably a million times since we've had it. It's all about Diane Keaton playing the mom of Mandy Moore and the other girls and she wants to make it work because all her other daughters are either married or getting married or have someone else and Millie, played by Mandy Moore, does not have anybody yet. She's trying to secretly set up her daughter with some guy that she found. It's a very funny movie. I will try to find something for you guys to look at but Yep, moving on to number two. And number two is actually one of my all-time favorite movies. It is She's the Man. If you do not know what this movie is, you need to find it right now and you need to watch it. I'll probably have a link below as along with all the other movies that I talk about in this video. You need to check it out. It's got Amanda Bynes, it's got Channing Tatum, it's got a bunch of other people, really good movie. I've watched it when we didn't have cable a couple years back. I watched it every day, two to three times a day, all throughout the summer, because that's all I had to watch. That's all I wanted to watch, that's all I liked. So I watched She's the Man for three months straight, three times a day. So probably about 90 times in 
the span of summer probably two or three years ago. But it's a very good movie and I love it. That's it. My number one video of summer is The Proposal. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this movie. It is Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock where Sandra Bullock is the editor in chief or something of this book agency publishing company whatever and Ryan Reynolds is a um, lower worker for this company and he wants to be editor he wants to get this job because he's really involved in it and he, it's, it's his dream to be an editor and his family doesn't like it and turns out that Sandra Bullock is about to be deported because her visa isn't right or something I have to rewatch it to actually get it down I memorized probably, it's a very good movie, I've memorized probably almost all the lines throughout this movie and I always get yelled at for memorize, for reciting every song, every, uh, not song, but line from the movie. I could have read you the whole script without even having to look at something. It is the best movie, you guys need to check it out. I would recommend it to anyone and I think everybody should see it if you have not already. That was my top five summer movies. I really would recommend any of these movies to anybody. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen probably two or three of these movies, but they are my all-time favorite movies and I love them. They are literally, I could watch them all day long, every day, any day of the year, whether it be summer, winter, any time, because I just love those movies. And I will probably put as many links as I can find, whether it be a summary or anything about these movies in the description below. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you are new and or if you have not already and you've been watching a couple of my videos. And I would love to hear what your guys' favorite movies are in the comments below and I will see you guys next week for my final top five summer video. Bye! -a. This is the first of my top five summer videos. I think I'm only going to be able to do three of these since there's only